guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I ended up doing a girls night out look and I absolutely love it. So if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. So we're first going to take a Morphe 441 brush and it's just my favorite blending brush literally. And we're gonna take these two shades and we're gonna begin to buff them in the crease. So you wanna hold the brush kind of as far away as you can because this makes blending a lot easier and makes the eye makeup less harsh. So, quick tip. I really do love this look. Like everyone at Disneyland today was like, oh girl, like, that makeup looks so bomb. And I was like, thanks, you know? So you basically want to blend until your arm falls off. So just keep blending until your arm is like ready. And it tells you like, hey. <laughs> So now we are moving on. We are moving on to this color. It is called Are You Kitten Me? We're taking it with the same blending brush, so it's simple and just start at the at the edge of the corner and then just drag that to the front and then just keep blending. Do the same process you did. We're just basically piling colors so it looks more gradient and it just doesn't look like you just got punched in the eye basically so yeah we're just blending this a little more blending is patience you know it takes forever but just do it if you want your eyes to look bomb so now that we have this nice blend going on, we are going to move on to this color and this color. So we're going to take both of them on a tapered blending brush. I would low-key wear this uh, to like a birthday dinner or like girls night out or to Disneyland, you know whatever occasion if you just want to stay home and practice I would do that too this is looking hella flawless and hella blended so we're gonna move on now we're gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color light medium honey i'm taking this small like little concealer brush and i actually got this at michael's i know random but sometimes you find really good brushes at michael's and i do recommend them because they are super inexpensive and this is a lifesaver so go ahead and go to michael's I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is the Morphe 209, 204 brush, sorry. And I'm just going to take this shade right here called Thanks a Latte. And it's just a vanilla color. So we're going to go ahead and put this and set the eye. After that, we want to take so jelly now we're taking the Too Faced glitter glue and we're going to apply a light coat of this where where we cut the crease so basically wherever we have the pink we're gonna apply a light coat Thank you. 
Really quickly, I just want to mention those glitters. These glitters, I used them a couple times and I really do like them a lot. I actually found them on a website and they are $1 each. That is insane. Like, I've never heard of $1 glitters. But these are it, so I'll go ahead and leave them down below if you are interested. I do think they are worth it, and the shipping was literally so fast, so that was even a better plus. I'm gonna start by taking these, this color, which is teddy bear, and then this color again, and I'm just gonna take it with the Morphe 441 brush. Find it kind of easier to like blend colors if you use a flat shader brush. So I'm using this one and I'm just gonna take the darkest shade which was Teddy Bear and I'm just gonna kinda run this along like where the harsh part is. So now we are going to add the black. I'm gonna take this shade right here, the black one. And first we're gonna run this along the lash, like kind of like the lash line, I guess. And we're just gonna mimic that we have eyeliner going on. So I definitely don't have eyeliner on this side. Let's take the Morphe 139 brush and run the black. Kind of like trying to blend it towards the outer corner only uh, just to smoke it out and then kind of just drag it inwards a little bit. And make sure you like blend right there. It's looking a little patchy. I did go ahead and put some more glitter wherever I saw that I was missing glitter. So here is how it's looking. Now we're moving on to the bottom lash line. Yep, so go ahead and take these two colors first, then Are You Kitting Me, and then Teddy Bear and Wine and Dine. Moving on to the inner corner, and we're gonna take Ploof, this shimmery shade, and we're just gonna pop that in the inner corner. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. I get so many compliments when I wear them, like no joke. So let me go ahead and pop these on and I will be right back. First starting off with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. Take my favorite foundation, the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. This is the shade 315. For our concealer, I'm still taking the same Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey and I'm going to highlight where I want. So we're going to set our face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and we are going to set the entire face slash kind of bake. So while that bakes, I'm gonna take the Hoola bronzer and I'm gonna take this 
with Morphe 529 brush and dust the excess because I kind of kind of broke so we're just using the powder and then bronze the forehead a little bit and the neck and the chin in case any double chins want to be showing up um, yeah we're gonna dust off the powder in a second with this big fluffy brush I usually use this to like contour too it's, you could honestly use it for many purposes so right now I'm just using it to like dust off the baking we have going on the Nicole Guerrero highlighting glow kit this is my favorite glow kit and I'm gonna take these two shades at the bottom the pink and the white and they're kitty cat and forever lit so I'm gonna take these two with a small highlighting brush by real techniques just gonna start highlighting my left way and And I like to blind people, so go ahead and apply however much you desire, but I like to be extra dramatic, so as you can see, I am applying a lot. And I also apply it above like the eyebrow, and then the nose, and the bridge of the nose a little bit. I'm gonna be taking this shade right here and I'm gonna lightly go in with blush I really don't like blush to be honest I never wore blush in high school I was just the type to like hate blush so I lightly take it and kind of blend the highlight and the contour and make it make it look a little like less harsh you know so that is pretty so take this on the other side and you and for me I don't like to apply blush like here like on the apples of the cheeks just because I have a very round face so if you apply blush on the apples of the cheeks right here your face is gonna look bigger so you want to apply the blush like kind of like like a little farther away to where it still shows color, but it doesn't show color like wabam, like right there, and you don't look fat. I want it to be extra dramatic, so I'm taking the dose of colors lipstick in Mondays. Okay guys, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this makeup tutorial. Please leave a comment down below if you do like the talk through or if you just like the voiceover videos. So this is my first talk through, so just bear with me if you didn't think I was entertaining. Go ahead and leave any questions you have. I'll answer them in the next one. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!